Hey y'all, it's Andrea. I am back with a brand new subscription to me. This was sent to me for review. Thank you very much. It is Universe Bound. This is a book subscription box um, with extras and they have several different packages and sizes um, to offer. I'll put the link down below if you guys wanna check it out. This one I believe is the simple read and relax version. It's $32.95 shipping tax and all if you pay monthly. Um, different packages cost different things. If you subscribe longer, it could be cheaper. You know, the regular subscription type rules. Let's get into this thing. I love me a book subscription, especially when they add fun extras. So I was super pumped when he emailed me and said that I could receive one. Okay, right off the bat, I'm pleased. This thing is jam. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this thing is jam packed, hopefully nothing breakable. But look at this on top. It's a wax seal. They wax sealed my little papers. Oh my God, that is so adorable. Love that touch. I think it's a J. I think the guy, I think it stands for the guy's name. I think if I can remember from his email, I don't know. Let's just get into this. Let's see what we got. That's such a nice touch. I love that. Yes, Universe Bound, Simple Read and Relax. Um, let's go over this afterwards. I think it's got a bunch of spoilers on it. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. This has got a safety. Well, I might have to go through it. I have this blue tub of powder. I bet it's salts. I bet it's bath salts. It's got a safety seal. Let's see. Um, Astro dust. But that's what this is. Astro dust reactive bath salts, Centrin and Mandarin. Gosh, that smells so good. One of those things in it. It's like a powder, it's not a salt. So it must be the dust. That is, I've never had anything like that. It's so cool. It's got this guy on top. Reactive bath dust. So fun. Centron and Mandarin is a vibrant citrus fragrance that fits beautifully in any summer candle or soap line. Top notes of grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, and touches of peach, orange, and delicate clackman for an irresistible burst of brightness, a hint of vanilla and citrusy bright musk. Finish off this super fresh scent. I love it. It is right up my alley. This fragrance oil is infused with natural essential oils, including grapefruit, orange, and lemon. Love it. we've got this really nice like satiny looks like Asian decorations it, it must be Asian decorations because look what is this there's five of them in this bag. This is so cool, guys. I am loving this. What is this? Okay. 
brewing ice tea. This tea. Ingredients, roses. Our opinion is that a cool concentrate works best as regular strength brew tends to become very watery as the ice melts. So use the left, use the above leaf quantities, but half the water, allow it to cool, then pour it over ice and enjoy. The brew will dilute down to proper strength as the ice melts. Sticky Rice Mini Tucha Jasmine Pearl Tea Company. Rose petals are practically the definition of floral and offer a rich, heady aroma. In an herbal infusion, rose creates a smooth, floral, and slightly fruity flavor with a delicate perfume. Naturally caffeine-free is perfect for any time of day. It has the brewing instructions. I've, again, never had anything like this. This is so cool. I'm blown away. We have this little packet. Looks like some raw sugar. Yes, it is. Five um, packs of raw sugar. Then we have three. Oh, okay. Some tea bags. I don't know what that is, and this is sealed. Let's find this. This is coffee. It's coffee. My favorite. Coffee. Don Francisco's Medium Roast Colombian Supremo. How it tastes. With a sweet floral aroma and whiny notes, you savor with every cup made with the finest Colombian coffees. Um, it's been since 1870. Making coffee using a tea bag, pour two to three heaping spoons, depends of grinds, into a tea bag. Seal the bag and take the bags with you wherever you're heading. To drink it, all you need to do is pour hot water over the bag and let it steep for a few minutes. What the heck is, I assume this is the coffee. I'm gonna have to smell it. I'm gonna make me one of these as soon as we're done. Mm, yes, that is different. Oh, I'm excited. To me, it smells ca like caramel a little bit. What the heck is this? The jury is out on that. The jury is out on, what the heck is this? It's not mentioned in this synopsis. There's, is it, is it more like raw sweetener? Cause it looks like little rocks. Maybe we'll find something else about it. Let's keep looking. We have some treats. We have some Biscoff biscuits, i.e. cookies. And we have some thin addictives. Maybe some it's a thin, maybe biscotti type of biscotti type cookie. There's three of them. One of them's busted. I probably did that when I slammed it just a minute ago. And there's some more of these. The bath stuff. The books. The book stuff. Oh, 
have to go over this when we, there's so much stuff in here. I'll have to go over that when we get to it. Looks like we have a, a very pretty candle holder, glass. Um, if you can kind of see in there, you can tell the, when the light goes through it, it's gonna sparkle and put color out everywhere. Like the light will shine through it. It's gonna be beautiful. Have a little spoon. I wonder if this is some more bath dust. It is. It is. They gave me two of them. Yes. Thank you. I love it. And let's get a little cutie spoon to go with it. Kirkland Organic Roasted Seaweed Snack. <laughs> Sesame flavor, winter harvest, 20 calories per serving. That's something, again, I have never got in a box. I've never tried this stuff at all. That is really cool. Oh my gosh. Kind of scared of it. <laughs> Alright, that distracted me. I'll get back to this bag. Ooh, candy. We got some Smarties. Y'all know it's a good box when I'm smiling the whole time. Some more Smarties. Espresso candy. Mmm. Yum. One, two, three, four, five. So far, I've gotten five of the Espressos. I think there's more in here, too. Um, this is some kind of an Asian candy classic series. I don't know what it is. Let's open it. It's like a hard candy. What is that? I have no idea what that flavor is. I have never tasted anything like it is that okay four so far I've counted five of the little Asian candies Ooh, extreme sour black cherry I love sour candy two of those oh and an apple warhead too And the lemon. Another lemon warhead. And another Smarty. So fun. So many good snacks. I love getting different stuff in boxes because y'all know I get a bunch of boxes. So it's so nice and refreshing when you get something you've never gotten before or heard of or even tried. Next, Mango Ceylon Tea, a tin of tea. I bet this is loose leaf. Yes. Ooh, it smells good. It smells just like tea. Mmm. There's, there's two tins in here. Kind of assuming it's the same thing again, but let me open it up just to be sure. I didn't have to grow up. Oh no, this is coffee. There's coffee. <laughs> kind of 
breathe some powder up. Coffee. Yay. What is happening? There's so much stuff. Okay, this is about, there is a book in here. I'm saving that to last. The um, Jasmine Pearl Tea Company, I think is this mango. Available from April to August while supplies last. This knockout blend pairs citrusy smooth, mild, brisk Sri Lanka black tea with hints of juicy mango with calendula lending a bit of color. Ideal as a traditional black tea with a little something extra to quench your thirst. Perfect for a cold brew on a hot summer day. And there's brewing instructions. Um, I think this is the Don Francisco medium roast coffee that I read about earlier. Maybe because um, I don't see a description for those. You got two boxes in here that say tamper resistant tags. Everything's safety sealed. They got different things in them. This one has got this stuff. Oh, I put it in my thing. And light it. Man, I wish I had a lighter over here. I gotta light it. Man, this I thought this was one of the smaller boxes that they it is one of the smaller boxes that they offer. I couldn't imagine what's in a big box. Well, it's daytime, so it's hard to see how the light comes through there. I'm sure it's very pretty at night. We'll wait and see if we can smell something because I think it is a fragrance. Amber Noir. Our Amber Noir fragrance oil is a sweet and sultry fusion of mandarin, jasmine, and rich amber with undertones of sandalwood and musk. They sent me one, two, three, four, five of them. Complex, intriguing, and sensual, this fragrance has a year-round appeal and is at home in any high-end candle or personal care line. It has a natural essential oils, including cedar wood. Okay, now the other box had something totally different in it. Oh my God, we have the cutest little honey dipper. Again, I don't have one of these. And again, I'm thrilled. There's gotta be honey. I'm assuming this is the honey. This will be perfect in your tea. We have some apricot preserves in a cutie little glass jar. And then we have some black currant um, preserves in a cute little glass jar. Awesome. And lastly, we have the book. <laughs> Myron Mac 
Hutchins, no justice, no peace. That's on trend. A cautionary tale. A cautionary tale is a story that details what Mac Hutchins believes is the only way to break a nearly 400 year American tradition of whites murdering blacks without consequence. In his own words, he says, this has to be the only means of African Americans to finally achieve the same measure of justice whites have enjoyed since they embarked on the genocide of the continent's native peoples. Were there any possible way it would have happened by now? Wow. This is amazing. This is so cool, you guys. I can't wait to look at this. Um, it, on Amazon, it rates 4.2 out of five stars. Okay, let's go over, there's so much in this box. My gosh, it's already running 20, almost 22 minutes. Okay, we've got the author, I mean the author, the book, this tells all about the author. Reactive bath dust, they gave me two of them. With the little cutie spoon that goes with it. Coffee, Columbia, Suprema and the tea and snackage. We got a bag of candy. We got these, looks I think some kind of biscotti and some biscuits, two of those. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we got the brewing. Where the heck did that go? Oh, this Asian Rose Cold Brewing Tea. We got the Medium Rose Coffee, I already put it back in there. We got the Scented Oils and the Candle, not really Candle, but Oil Holder. Hmm. Um, I guess, and this other stuff, I guess, falls under snackage. The honey and the two preserves with a little dipper. The seaweed snack. The raw sugar with the coffee, sample of the coffee, tea bags. And y'all help a girl out with this. I think this is another kind of a sweetener. Y'all, please tell me so I'm not putting some weird, something weird in my coffee, if it's not. I love this. It was so fun. If you guys wanna check out some more Universe Bound boxes, I know the uh, bigger boxes have more books. So maybe you would get the same kind of snacks and extras with everything, you just get more books in the bigger one. I can't imagine them giving even more extras than what they do in this box. To me, it's definitely worth the $32.95 you would pay if you bought it for a month. What'd you guys think? Don't forget, I do have an active giveaway going on. I'll link it down below as well. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to watch unboxings, and I'll see you at the next one.